Great God Almighty, Amen, name be praised. I speak to the Bahamas government first, and then I speak to the United Nations Security Council. The name Yahweh was and is and will always be a sacred name. I am his son and he is my father. I was able to unlock the seal of revelation and the Bahamas government can explain to the Bahamian people what that means. The religious church knows it in a different light. General Electric and the Bahamas government can explain that. Now, a nation's sovereignty, the Bahamas' sovereignty and state is the issue here. As sure as Yahweh is a forbidden name for the average man in the average church leader to call. They cannot call that name like I can. Now, for what reason, that's another matter. The son of Yahweh, his name is Yeshua. The Yeshua is hereditary. The preamble of the Bahamian constitution is hereditary. The sacred texts, all texts pertaining to the black human race is hereditary. The great God Almighty Yahweh reign. The sun first reign on the great God Almighty. Amen. Then Rome, Constantine, it was y'all who put a stumbling block in the path of the black race. Now it is the black race who continue to commit adultery, lying, fornication, cheating, and all these evil and more and more upon more that my father, your father, dislikes, whether you're black or whether you're white. Yahweh belongs to us all, but it is Hebrew. And it is the rightful heir to that name, to the throne of Yahweh, to the throne of royalty of the Bahamas, to, to bear witness. The Bahamas government does not want General Electric. You cannot afford. Now you are being, judgment is falling upon y'all and the sun as the sun rise behind my head, which is symbolic to the truth. Now, the unorganized lie has now become organized. I now speak to the United Nations Security Council. You understand. You all understand me quite well. And what the meaning of these parables and sayings. I am establishing world and to the Bahamian people. According to the, he, the hereditary, esoteric reason of why the Acklands, Crooked Island, and Long Key Association was established. Now I am the heir by way of the Holy Spirit. My father is alive. Yet, the Spirit came to his oldest son for reasons the Father and the Son chose this one. May y'all understand this is a reality. The Son is on and above and around and shining upon my head and baptize me and rain upon me as it rain upon this nation with beauty for the world to see. My grandfather 
was hereditary. He was the offspring of someone. Now, he was elected in the Bahamas for 52 years. That was the time England ruled the Bahamas as sovereign. Now, I say this to the people of the world. My country is absolutely gorgeous. And I absolutely invite every last human being on the planet to please come and visit the Bahamas. You are hearing and looking upon the sun as it rises that I call and recall Yahweh, Hebrew Israelite call the morning star. You're welcome to come and rise with me as I worship Yahweh, Adonai, Elohim, the great God. Listen now, who we call in this part of the world, our Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, and our Master and our Redeemer, but in Hebrew, we recognize, the world recognizes him as the issue. So that simply says, we love God this way. So, in t what am I saying? The natural resources, as I was saying in the past, belong to the Bahamian people, surely belongs to the Bahamian people because I am the heir to Bahamian history. We're having this conversation because two men, the sitting prime minister and the former prime minister sits as head of our country prime minister and would have sat as head of our country and in, in, in elected office now they came into politics in 1978 okay so Lyndon and that generation kicked the, what I like to call the 67 generation they brought us and gave us this beauty and it is the view of the heir to royal status in this country whether I'm, I'm not here Bahamas I'm not here world to look for fame or money my talent speaks for it all if just to, just to admire the nature behind my head like the Christ would have said this is the life of the generation that seeks him that seek him I am a Hebrew Israelite and I have gone to great stress and strength to express and as I speak father has given me the 2nd of June 1970 I was born so Lyndon was born in 1940 1933 now from 1970 to 9 to 2010 is 40 years and in the Hebrew for the Hebrew people 40 is the number of a generation now God did not make a mistake to plan who was going to rule and take over this country 40 years later and I'm putting it to the world as I place it before the Honorable United Nations Security Council even as I speak to the brothers okay of the Grand the Supreme Grand Council okay I am saying the sovereign. I'm saying to the sovereigns of the state and to even the brothers and the sisters in the other language, to especially the United Nations and the sovereign grand commander of the Supreme Council of Her Majesty the Queen. I speak to every king on the planet. See God. And God shall see you, see, sire, sire, see. These were words of my, the mother of my father. This is the spirit that blessed me today. Sarah Johnson, I, I call the name Sarah Johnson. And I invite and invoke the presence of this old woman. I invoke the presence of Emily Cox Miller. Two women. I invoke the presence and spirit of Willis Miller. I invite the presence and invoke the presence and spirit of Samuel Otis Miller from Elutra. These are my ancestors and more. Great Britain, reparation is now in order for this house. The Miller name and coat of arms. The motto in Latin, Manent, Optima Coelo. Which simply means Bahamas into the world. The best things awaits this young man 
in heaven. But I give it all back to the God of my salvation who is able to pluck the morning sun in its orbit right there. I give it back to him. And I say, Father, now bless us as a nation. And from a nation, bless us as a, pe as a, as a people and a generation. And then bless us as a race. And then bless us as a world. Bless us as a planet. This is the redemption story. This is the song of freedom. Now, I was molested by a male. And Yahweh never changed his order. For no same-sex marriage. So, I rebuke in the name of Yahweh. And in the name of the Yeshua. The great Adonai. The Elohim. The El Shaddai. My Jesus. My Yeshua. The spirit of the two corrupt, in my opinion, political leaders by way of their policies. I'm not saying they might be corrupt, but I'm telling them, and I'm telling the United Nations, and I'm telling the sovereign uh, grand commander of the Supreme Council, and the United Nations Security Council, and every United Nation, Rome is guilty. Rome, the Church of Rome, is guilty and the spirit of Yahweh rebukes them. Now that is the only church what need to be banned from calling the name Yahweh or Yeshua or the Black Christ or the Black Madonna. All right? Period. And it was Yahweh who said, let there be light and the spirit of Yahweh hovered over the water of this. And it was Yahweh who called for the waters and sent them into their place. It was Yahweh who orchestrated it in it was the European who said, Yahweh's Bahamas, Yahweh United States, Yahweh London, Yahweh Rome, Yahweh Italy, Yahweh Spain, Yahweh Africa, freedom. It was Yahweh who said, the world will be round. The globe or the planet will be round and the earth will be surrounded by, it was Yahweh. It was you, Europe who said once the world was flat and it was a black man it was the black man who corrected you and you all hate correction from that day to this day and may the spirit of Yahweh in the name of Yeshua rebuke the church of Rome if they fail to recognize the sovereign name of the Adonai coming from the voice of the black human race especially from the foundation the Bahamas Great God Almighty!